Hello, 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 hello. I'm here at my favorite spot. Again, you can hear the water behind me. And Hank is around. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. If I can show you the blue, blue sky. Beautiful, beautiful day here in New Zealand. Second day of fantastic sunshine and God, it makes you feel so much better when the sun's shining. I bet you must feel this too, don't you? Just, you feel so, I don't know, alive. It just goes to show that the sun's rays and the sun is so healing for us all on all levels soaking in those beautiful light rays. It's wonderful. Hey, come in, good boy. Keep my eye on him. Good boy. So yeah, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful day. And it's funny because yesterday, um, was my son's birthday. And uh, I had a pretty magical day yesterday, actually. And it's funny because I haven't really thought about it before until this year. It's, it was my son's birthday yesterday and it's uh, my daughter's birthday in a couple of weeks. And I really had a, a deep feeling of um, gratitude and um, a real spiritual feeling of, you know, celebration of life, bringing this beautiful human being into this world um, to embark on a journey of transformation and of knowingness and oneness and, and all those beautiful things that go along with it. And uh, I must have been really vibrating out that uh, feeling of gratitude yesterday because I had a fantastic healing massage, which was a swap, a freebie, um, for some work that I'd done for someone. And uh, that was absolutely fantastic. And when I got home, I received a bouquet of flowers from a client uh, all on yesterday, which was my son's birthday. So. That to me is really magical and um, it actually brought tears to my eyes because it is, it goes way deeper than just the physical. It is a real um, show in the physical of uh, gratitude I know from many people, but souls, many souls uh, that I have also worked with over the years. And it's funny because last, last, um, last week, I think it was, I was having some real deep thoughts in my own mind about myself and my journey and everything else and things that I've done and what have you. And I just got this very strong message from spirit that when my turn comes to uh, go to the other side or leave this physical vessel, there is going to be um, uh, many, many souls that are waiting for me in celebration because of the work that I've done and helping them to move over because this is a big part of my work. I, I help to rescue lost souls and move them over to the light. And uh, I, Spirit showed me my soul going through the tunnel and then through the other side, there is going to be a lot of people waiting to greet me, a lot of souls waiting to greet me to say thank you and um, in celebration. And it made me cry. It was, it was such a profound message that I got from spirit. And everything that's happening, including yesterday, is also, I believe, on a multidimensional level, uh, a show in the physical of gratitude from um, the universe, my team, whatever you'd like to call it, my clients, um, but it's from souls, really. And 
and uh, it, it was just a beautiful, beautiful thought and feeling that I had. So it's good to think on this physical level, but the same with my post this morning, everything that happens often has a multi-dimensional level to it. And it's up to us to have full awareness to be able to see it on a multi-dimensional level. So um, I just wanted to share this with you. If you feel that you need clearing or you're feeling out of sorts or your energy fields or your nervous system's out of whack, that could be uh, that you might have visitors, um, I call them. They're just souls that are looking for help. Um, but it might be that you're going for a shift. So it's not definitely always that. So it's up to you to discern within yourself what is happening for you. And this, this is what's also most important. Hank, come here. Come on. Sorry about that. I've got to keep my eye on him because he's such a precious boy. There he is. Um, there's obviously lots of smells down that bit. Yeah, so it's up to you to discern and decide and, and really go within yourself and use your own intuition for your own journey. It's really important that you go within and not rely on the outer all the time. It's just how uh, we are brought up. It's how we are, um, you know, our belief systems are, it's just how humanity is that we are constantly looking on the out. And it's now time to actually really focus your attention within you and becoming aware of everything that's happening around you, to you, for you, and what you're feeling in your body um, and all those things because we are all evolving and it's really important that you acknowledge that within yourself and praise yourself, love yourself and really, I can't, I can't even explain it in words, but feel that love that is there for you, within you, from your own soul. It is your soul and it is that soul expansion which will help you feel that opening of the heart and that beautiful love. So I wanted to share that with you today. I'm feeling extremely in a space of gratitude and love and um, in that beautiful space of connection with spirit and the God source uh, and our ET friends, of course, because I believe they all work together. So I'm really feeling a strong connection to them all at the moment and um, it's showing in my physical world. So please, please receive lots and lots of love from me, from the collective, from the God source and Please know you're not on your own. You're not alone. There are many, many, many beings wow. here waiting for our acknowledgement. And that is both spiritual and multidimensional. So much love from me and Hank. See ya. Bye for now.